Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the micro learning elements in WPLMS. So micro learning elements are basically small learning units and short term learning activities to boost the overall learning and the engagement of the users who are taking your courses, which includes like reading of a paragraph, small text, viewing short video clips, memorizing words and flashcards. So these activities comprise of micro learning elements. As we are using our custom built editor in WPLMS, we have created these micro learning elements right in the editor and they are very easy to use. Now, first of all, to enable them, you have to go to the, you have to go to the YBP settings. And in the settings, you will be able to locate the vibe editor settings and here we have the special check for micro learning elements as soon as you enable this micro learning elements when you visit any course and start editing it you will see so we have this s which is which stands for short codes and when you click on it you will see that we have the micro learning elements appearing in the editor itself. So these includes like flashcard, scratch card, image revealing, image hotspots, memory game and card stack. So we will go through on each one of these one by one and see how, how it works. So let's edit any course. So here we are going to edit a, edit a course. And in the curriculum, let's create a new unit and can be any unit. You can add the micro learning element in any kind of unit, whether it's a video unit or a audio unit. Let's name this unit as flashcard and and this can be combined with whatever text that you have to add. And when we click on this, we can select the flashcard. So here you can see that we have a big image icon. And when we click on it, it is asking us to select an image. So here you can select a, use it as a question. And this is the, this is the front which says where, where do fishes live? And we can rotate it. And on the back side also, we can select an image, which could be the answer. So this is a simple flashcard inside a unit and let's view this unit very quickly. So this is how our unit appears and this is the front of the unit and user can simply click on it and see the backside of the, of the flashcard. So let's see the next micro learning element, which is the scratch scratch card. Now scratch card is slightly different from a flashcard. And let's see how this works. So I'll just create one. So here we have to select two images. And the one is a front image and another is a back image. And these two images overlap each other. And we can simply add this unit. And let's view this unit now. And here you can see a card appears, but here the user has to scratch the card now. So to scratch the card so that the underlying image, it appears to scratch the card. The user has to click his mouse and press it and move it. So let's use a different image for the scratch card. So we just remove the back front and back image and let's so here we have two images and the user has to scratch the card so that the image below it appears. So this is how it works. Now let's move on to the next, which is the, which is image reveal. So just like a scratch card here, we have to use two images. And 
and you have to select a front image and a back image and let's create this add this unit now let's view this so here you can see we have two images so one is overlapping the other and if and make sure that the images are, are of are of same size so that there is no issue with the height of the image the user can compare before and after of uh, in this case so let's move on to the next which is the hotspots so this is like a simple image with the over overlap lying hotspot for example here we can select an image and here we will mark the points which are going to be the hotspots and so here you can even add videos as well so these are the hotspots the user will see and when the user clicks on it he sees the image or the videos that you assign to this particular place on the image next we have is a memory game <coughs> so here the user selects images so for example we have we want to create a 3 by 3 grid so you select three columns here and each of the image is repeated twice so we just select the images so here you can see that we have selected the images and we can add this unit Now this memory game is really helpful for users to to remember the concepts that they are taught in the lessons. So here the user will have to match the image. And this is just like a simple game which the user has to complete. Once the game is complete the user can simply reload to play the game again. So let's move on to the next micro learning element which is the card stack now this is like a stack of cards and the effect of of moving of card you can select from here So now let's see how this works. So we have the card deck and when we view it, you can see that we have these cards appearing. So if the images are of same size, then you won't see the uh, issue here. So here you can see first card is an is a question where it says where do fishes live? Click. Okay, this is the answer. Then we have the next guess the season. So this is how the card deck work. And you can select the effect of the of the cards inside the deck. So that's it from WPLM tutorials. Thanks for watching.